Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. It is a wall of color and cans. And today we're going to be testing Mr. Color Spray Paint. Um, I have never tried this before. I love Tamiya's spray cans. and But, however, I do love Mr. Color in the jars. I have one sitting right here. So uh, I've always wanted to try their spray paints. So I had an opportunity to uh, get a bunch of these at once, and I did. And actually, let's pan out a little bit. Ah, there we go. Hold on, let me pull this back a little bit. Up there are the Gundam colors. I didn't get a lot of those, as this is all they had. Yet a lot of places will carry just the Gundam colors and not the rest. Um, but the variety of colors in here is, uh, is pretty good. Let me put this down. All right. Here's how I'm going to test them. These are mostly still sealed. There's the plastic. I haven't even opened most of these yet. That's a clear orange, by the way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show every color. I might. I think I might um, spray it. I'm going to spray about four of them on camera. Here's how we're going to test them. Um, we're going to go over bare plastic, which is this white spoon, and then the same spoon with primer. And uh, for that, I used their primer, Mr. Surfacer 1000. I sprayed a bunch of these, 40 of them, because there's about 40 colors here almost. So that's what we're going to do there. And uh, I'm going to spray one or two on. Let me grab something behind me here. We'll spray some on uh, a couple of plastic pieces here. We'll see uh, how it goes, seeing that it's made for Gundam. We'll try it on that. And then uh, I think later in the week I'm going to test it out uh, on a car body and see how that works. But anyway, let's put this down here. Also, there's a few clear colors here. Um, I don't know if... Here's clear red. Here's clear blue. In the clear orange I just showed. I think that's the only clears I could find, but I think there's others. So for that, we're going to spray that over a silver base, and then we're going to spray it over a chrome base, so to speak, chrome. We're going to use my uh, Mecha Empire polished alloy because I happen to have a few of these sprayed. So we will try it on that. And um, I think I have a couple of chrome spoons here too. We tried on some. Uh, Inspire or one of the chromes I've tested recently. I'm not sure. Is it, which one is this? See, I don't have names on them. I gotta go in, in my bins and get the ones that are named properly. But that's just for the handful of clears we have. And this one's a little tricky. This is a white pearl. Looks like it's translucent. So I think we'll have to spray that on top of another color. Um, maybe on top of a red or something. We'll see how that shows through. And I definitely want to spray the gold and the silver because those are tricky colors to look good. Um, yeah, other than that, we're going to go uh, over to the booth. We are actually going to spray at least, I think we're going to do about four, but one will be the clear, so we will do the clear for sure. Maybe the gold and silver, and we'll pick another bright color, maybe a green or something. And, uh, yeah, if I get uh, if I can squeeze it in, I think I'm going to uh, show them all to you. If not, I will put them in my community section, a still shot with each can next to its represent, you know, representative spoon, and you can see how it looks sprayed. And I might do that within a day. So you still will be able to see all the colors as they are. All right. So we're going to shake these up. Um, they seem really thin because the, the ball on most of these didn't really have to be dislodged at all. And um, let me get this out of the way. And a lot of times I've been doing this, believe it or not. Hold on a second. Shout out to Typhoon Rax. Oh. Oh, man. Sheesh. I've been using this, and check this out, I mean it just, it does the job, it really shakes them up well. That is awesome. So uh, yeah, I've been doing that right next to the booth, I've just been holding on there for about 30 seconds and they've been coming out great. Let's get this off the table, man this thing's heavy. So yeah, uh, shout out to Robert at... Uh, Typhoon paint racks and paint mixers. That thing is incredible. And congrats to the one who uh, out there who got the, the giveaway. Uh, I'm glad uh, you're enjoying that. I hope you are. And uh, just so you guys know where we are right now, where I am here in New England. Let's get out my little weather machine here. All right, let's come down a little bit. There we go. All right, outside it's 76. Inside it's 70. 93% humidity outside. 59 inside because I got the central air on and even though I'm in a basement a finished basement here I have the central air vents 
I had them installed down here too, so uh, this room actually gets cold and no humidity. I have a dehumidifier built into uh, our furnace where the uh, central air starts and passes through, and then uh, from there it, uh, it goes through a dehumidifier. So the house gets uh, really, really, uh, really comfortable after it's run for a little bit. But look at outside, and you can see here it's telling us that it's raining out and cloudy, even though I can look out the window and see that. And uh, this thing's really been a wonder. I don't even know I paid for this. 30 or 40 bucks. Actually, I'll put a link below for this. It's awesome. I keep the little one in the booth. Let me show you the little one. That's in the booth. You know, and there it is. 56, 59. You know, it's close. Like maybe it's different across the room. Let's put this back. There we go. Yeah, I keep that in the booth. But this is on the desk. And, uh, yeah, it really, it really has come in handy. Um, to get the outside temp, it comes with a sensor. You recharge it. It's rechargeable. I don't know how long it lasts. Six months or a month. I don't know. But uh, it said you recharge it. And I hung it outside. It's outside this uh, where I am now, right outside. And it's up a little bit and over in the backyard. And it seems to be picking up the signal really well. You can see the signal right here. The signal strength. Just like a phone. There it is. Outside and that's inside. Anyway, let's put this back in the corner. There you go. All right, so that is the uh, opening here. We're going to pick some colors to do on camera. We are definitely going to do a clear over uh, my polished alloy, so we will do that uh, as part of the test. And, uh, yeah, let's see how these paints are. And uh, it's a great company. I have uh, high hopes, so uh, I do expect good things here. Anyway, we'll meet you at the booth. We'll get some spraying. We'll go over the results. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. We're going to start with green here. What do we got? Six. Oops, let's focus in. Six. It just plainly says green. It will tell you if it's gloss. It will tell you if it's semi-gloss or flat. And I think most of the time it'll actually tell you if it's a primary color, too. Yep, here it is right here. Look. Primary. So let's go over plastic first. get a quick covering there let's go ahead and move on to the primer spoon and let's check out a gumpla piece this looks like a leg here I think from the gium is that it let's see what kit this came from all right covering nice now we're gonna go back and finish off the white plastic spoon. There we go. Nice coverage. Really nice coverage. It flows nice. Wow, really nice. All right, let's put it on the primer. Yeah, the nozzles are really good. It goes on really nice, like glass. Try to get the, there we go. Look at that. We'll go over it at the bench. We'll get a little closer. All right, let's go ahead again. With this Gumpla piece. And there we go. That looks good. All right. All right, let me go put this in the dehydrator so we can try it in time for the test. And uh, let me grab another color. Up next is number eight, silver. It's a metallic now, so the same gloss or flat or semi gloss, and a primary. All right, let's try it over straight plastic. All right, looking pretty good there. Let's try it over primer. A little hard to see covering the primer, so let's go ahead and try it over black. One of my black spoons here. This way we can actually see it going on. Oh, there we go. I love uh, Mr. Color Silver. Oh, it covers really nice. I love Mr. Color Silver in the uh, in the jar for airbrushing. One of my favorites, and their gold is fantastic. So that's why I'm going to try on camera the gold and the silver. This is probably going to dry a really matte, is my guess. This is over plastic. It already looks perfect. If you can see it here in person, it, it looks like it covered really good. But there it is. It's all even. Looks good. All right. 
Let me grab the gold and we'll see how that looks. All right, definitely one of my favorites in their regular line is gold. And check this out. This is my favorite gold of your standard gold, number nine. They matched the numbers with the spray. So now I'm really expecting this to be perfect because this really is a perfect gold. Uh, I've always liked it. You know, is it not chrome or anything, just a straight up gold. So that is great that they matched the numbers. Let's see what we got. We'll do it over the black too so we can see how it goes on. Yeah, this goes on just like the airbrush paint. You know, and it dries really, really nice. Over primer. Goes really good over the primer. All right, let's try it over black. have trouble covering it it probably doesn't like the plastic look at that yeah that's not good so let me see if I can find some black primer here hold on guys all right guys I did one better I think this is coated with 2k gloss so let's see if that gets affected all right and I sanded the black spoon let's see if that works Yep, it looks good. Look at that. All right, and let's go back over and double up on this. All right, oops, it's a little blurry. Well, we'll go over it at the bench. All right, we'll do the clear orange next, and uh, then we'll go over the results. All right, last up as far as uh, on screen testing goes will be clear orange, uh, gloss, a primary. So we're going to go ahead and spray this over my polished alloy. Should work. Lacquer over lacquer. All right. Here we go. Make sure it's nice and clean. Now you're going to go a bit slower with this. We don't want it to pull up. All right, we'll stop there. we got some uh, chrome gold. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's try it over silver. What is this? Moto MX-19. See, I keep a little bit of uh, all my paints, a uh, little bit. I keep all of them, my spoons. And um, I can use them for testing or reference as we go. All right, we'll let that sit with the other one. Man, the other one, look, it really is gold. I think I found some spray can chrome gold. This is fine silver. Again, it's probably just going to look like the other one. All right, beautiful. Let's go back to the first one over my polished alloy. Now we're going to get some depth to the orange here. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, look at these clear colors. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Let's try it over the silver. I got two silvers, I don't know why I did that, but it primarily has to go over something bright. I'm going a little quicker. You should go slower than what I'm doing here. Let's go ahead and put it over. I'm gonna try it over gold. Let's try it over gold. I don't even know what gold this is, but it's in one of my boxes here. Beautiful. The gold brings the orange out for sure. Let's try it over this other gold. I don't even know what golds these are. I'm just grab them from my bin. See, this one had a lot of imperfections in it, and I think it's just going to bring out the imperfections. You can see little lines in it, but it doesn't matter. We got the other one. Um, yeah, all right. That's great. Let me uh, clean up all this, meet you back at the bench. We'll go over every color I sprayed. 
I sprayed a ton off camera, by the way. All right, my friends are back at the bench. In no particular order, I just grabbed them. And let's go over them quick. Um, I want you to know tomorrow, I'm gonna take pictures of them on the bench with the can next to each one, so you guys can uh, see. I'll put it in the community section when uh, you just scroll through and you can look at each one sprayed. Now, I want you to know one thing before we go over the results. My cardboard here is I didn't spray on camera and show the white. I mean, semi-gloss, flat, uh, gloss white, while the blacks, semi-gloss, gloss black. I did do the flat black. Uh, that's behind me. I'll be showing that on camera. I wanted to see how flat the flat was. But as far as all these whites were concerned, even the Gundam white, which is a slight, it's an off-white, it just doesn't show up well on camera or when I'm spraying it. So, I mean, if the stuff performs well, then go ahead and buy the white. And so far, it did perform quite well. But uh, without any order, this is number 67 purple. All right. I'm putting this up so we can block some... Uh, you guys can see this is obviously over plastic because watch the, when I show it over primer. Can you see it? It came out much duller and a little bit on the rough end. Um, but it performs well over, over just plastic. It really does. Just like, uh, to me, I have spray cans. I find those don't really need a primer either. And uh, this is one of the ones I chose to spray a Gumpla part with. And there it is. It went on nice. It's all white where there should be panel lining, which personally doesn't bother me because I would panel line all that anyway. And uh, which is good. Actually, we'll leave a nice uh, area if you're doing black or gray to show through. But it, it sprayed nice and evenly on the Gumpla piece. Look at that. All right, next up, what I have here, clear red, number 47. All right, basically, we're going to do it over three types. This is over um, my polished alloy. Where is that? Right here. This is over my polished alloy. And that is beautiful. This is it over gold. There you go. Almost chrome-like over mine. And then this is it over silver. So gold, silver, polished alloy, clear red. Really nice. Nice and even. Look at that. All right. But is this is a military color? Dark yellow, flat, yeah, World War II. German tank, it says. So this is 39. All right. You can see which one's over primer quite easily. And uh, it's this one. Again, though, I don't think you really need the primer on some of these. All right, what do we have here? Clear blue, number 50. All right, let's do the same three again. Over my polished alloy, beautiful. Over silver, completely different look, but still nice. And over gold look at it over gold it turned green <laughs> I don't know if they have a clear green I think they do um, I would guess they did but it wasn't in stock when I ordered it from two different places but uh, don't need it if you spray gold first but my polished alloy silver gold hold on all right, next up, I just grabbed anything. What do we have here? Metallic red, number 75. Metallic red. Yes, there are some metallics here. Let's put this cardboard back up over plastic. Let's see if we can see the metallic in it. There it is, it. And what is this one? This is primer. Slightly different, a little darker, a little duller. So yeah, you have to put, if you want to, there are gloss primers if you want to go with a primer. But this paint really does well over white plastic. If you want to use a primer, but get that result, white primer, I would say. What do we have here? Metallic blue, number 76. Over plastic, beautiful color. Look at that. And this is over primer. It's almost the same. I call this Subaru blue. The WRX, the STI Subarus, uh, the rally cars. That's the official Subaru color. Really nice. Yeah, the, this over white is a little lighter. You can see it there. 
Yeah. Beautiful color. Wow, that's nice. All right, what do we have here? Some kind of lime green. We have yellow green, number 64. All right, let's hold them both up. Primer, plastic. You can really see the difference there. You get a semi-gloss over primer, ultra-gloss over uh, white plastic. Look at that. It just sprayed and leveled off. Beautiful. Great shine. It's, uh, it's durable, I believe. I want to let it dry much longer than... Uh, oops, I dropped it. I like to let it dry for at least uh, 72 hours before I test for durability. But I have some here that we'll check. But uh, they have regular paint in the jaws. It's very durable. So I imagine this is the same paint, just in a spray can. Let me pause the camera and get another batch. All right, guys, another batch. We'll start with, what is this, 34 Sky Blue. Let me get my cardboard here. There we go. Obviously, I can tell right off the bat, this one is plastic. I mean, the, the white plastic, that's the primer. You can see it, it just loses a bit. And that was a smooth primer. That was their 1000. Let me see. Yeah, Surfacer 1000 is a very smooth primer. But uh, again, it still absorbs into it. Beautiful blue, though. Uh, three, red. All right, this is primer. This is plastic. Almost identical tone, but boy, it, it, uh, it does dull it out a little bit. This is 15 IJN green. This is uh, aircraft, right? Yeah, semi-gloss aircraft, UN aircraft, World War II. Oh, sorry. There. And this is over plastic right here. This is over primer. This one, not much of a difference at all. These semi-gloss military colors seem to settle into their exact color that they're going to be. It's almost the color of the Zaku, isn't it? Where's the Zaku? This is a uh, G-frame, so it's nothing special. It's just a display. I'll show you the reason why. No, not quite. I'll show you the reason why I got him in a minute. All right, look how dark that color is on the cap. Oh, and it was pretty accurate. All right, what do we have here? Number four, yellow. All right. Plastic primer. Yep. There you go. These are pretty close. A little duller in person. It's much more of a sunshine yellow there on the plastic. But, boy, I mean, yellow is a tough color. This sprayed absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All right, 151, that's a high number, huh? White Pearl, this is the White Pearl. All right, let's look at this. Classification's a little different. Look, Pearl, Car, etc. So they're telling you these are car colors. So what I did was I took black, blue, and red and just sprayed the pearl over that. And let's see what we got. Oh, sorry, guys. There we go. So basically, I took the color and just gave it a bit of a pearl look. Let's grab one of these, get a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about. See, that was just light blue. Might have been their light blue, I think. And then I just sprayed the pearl over it. This is a black spoon. That's what it looked like normally. And I just sprayed it on top of that. So it adds this pearl look to uh, whatever you're, you're painting it over. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Particularly if you have a, car that, a color that's not metallic and you want metallic, this should give it a great look that's pretty different it's kind of like uh tamiya's act a little different from tamiya's what do we have here this is 35 ign again military mitsubishi like gray semi-gloss aircraft world war ii all right let's see which one's primer right here primers right here but they're pretty close really nice neutral gray this looks like the gray from the i guess the star trek enterprise right they're kind of like that gray Beautiful, smooth finish. Really, really good. What do we have here? Flat black. Here we go. The only black I tried because I wanted to see how flat it came out. So, right hand is primer. Left hand is over plastic. Here we go. Oops, sorry about the camera, guys. So, pretty close. A little darker over the primer, but it is a really good flat black, guys. This is a real good flat black. Almost looks like they're primer. But you can see the depth the primer gave it, which is this upper one 
versus over plastic. Still a nice dull look, but it uh, gives a little more of a black look to it. Really, really good flat black. Number 33. And this is, number five, just simply blue. All right, this is plastic, left hand, primer, right hand. You can see a little bit of the difference right there, but it's pretty close. But again, these primary colors really lay down nice, don't they? Look at that. Don't worry if I'm holding up long enough or you got to pause the camera. Tomorrow I'm going to put up still shots of each color uh, in the community section of my channel. And um, if you got the notification checked off, guys, you'll know when I put that up. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Probably tomorrow I'll get it done. i got to take all pictures of all these. Anyway, let me grab another batch. All right, next batch. Let's do it. Number 31, dark gray. This is U.S. Naval Vessels. This is a ship gray, battleship gray, I guess is what they're trying to tell us here. Let's see which one is. This one's primer. This one's plastic. Uh, these are really close. In person, it's a slight difference, but nah, not really. I, this, I would say, doesn't require much of a base coat. It looks pretty good. Nice gray. All right, this is steel. It's a primary metallic steel, number 28. All right, this, for some reason, looks the same. This is primer. This is gla uh, plastic. All right, I mean, I don't even know if there's a... In person, they're slightly darker. I don't know why. It, it shows up in camera a little darker than it does in person. Again, it looks like this doesn't require a primer, but... Uh, yeah. Good color though. Look at that. Steel. All right, what do we have here? Orange yellow semi gloss. It says uh, IGN, I guess it's Japanese Air Force uh, aircraft. All right, this is really easy to tell which is which. This is the primer, this is plastic. And you can see it's got that extra shine to it. Let's so get the lighting on this a little better. No, not really. They're pretty close, though. It just gives a little bit of a dullness when you put it over primer. Nice yellow, though. Really nice and smooth and even. Look how good these yellows came out of that spray can, man. That's impressive. Yellow's a tough color to spray. To a spray can, at least, anyway. Bright blue, gloss primary, number 65. All right. Yep, that's the primer in this hand. You can see it's a little darker. Beautiful shiny. Shell has a fuzzy look in the reflection here, and this one's a very sharp. That's what you're getting over the primer, which is this. But this is a beautiful blue. Look at that. Alright, let me grab another one. This is another military. Yep, Japanese aircraft, World War II, green. Uh, IGA green, semi-gloss number 16. Guess we're getting closer to that Zaku that's back there. In color, uh, here's the primer. Not primer, you can really see the difference on these. Nice green though, that's great for that Zaku actually. All right, what do we have here? Metallic black, number 78. All right, is that like the black album? 78, this is over plastic. Oop, I dropped it. First one I dropped, guys. All right, plastic. And this is over the primer, obviously, yes. This nick was here, but it, I nicked it when it was wet when I was putting it down. I didn't have a chance to spray it again, but we can see the color here. You can see the metallic in it. Not much difference. Uh, in person, there's really almost no difference. But that's a cool color, metallic black. Here's another gray. What is this one? Light gull gray. U.S. aircraft semi-gloss. Number 11. That's an early number in the lineup. I can tell this one's primer just by looking at it. Yep, over primer, over plastic, white plastic. Very close. These are really, really close. Nice, even, smooth. It dries beautifully. What do we have here? Shine Red, primary number 79. Primer. I don't have to look. I can tell. Yep, primer. And this is over the white plastic. And absolute shine red, almost like guards red. German God's Red, look at that. Beautiful. Much deeper in person. It's a little washed out. Let me see if I can change the lighting. See if that helps. Nah, not really. A little bit. Not really. I'll push the lighting forward to see if it would help. 
as you guys can see, it's tough with these LED lights for you to capture what you see in person. Here's green number six, primary, just a basic green. This is, I think, plastic. Yep, this is the primer. I'll show you it over the Gumpla piece. Much brighter over the plastic, of course, like the rest, and shinier. See the fuzzies look, and then you can see how sharp the lighting is here, the reflection. That's a beautiful neutral green right there. And this is over the Gumpla piece. Came out beautiful, just like the uh, purple. Really good. All right, let me clear this off. Grab another batch. All right, here we go. We have silver. All right, let's grab these. I'm going to put this up to see if this helps with the uh, the showing of these things. You get that black piece here. There we go. This way I can hold up the spoons a little better for you. And this doesn't matter. It's the same over everything. It's uh, silver. <laughs> And uh, I didn't even label them. I was going to label them, but they're identical. They're all identical. This is over black. This is over white. This is over primer. It's identical. It is a super smooth silver, almost like a flat aluminum, I guess you would say. Um, really nice, though. Really even and, and really nice. Now, the next one, we have a story to tell here, right here. Gold. And I showed you it's the same gold, uh, number nine. And number nine as this. Now here it is over plastic and primer. Plastic primer. Uh, again, no difference. A little lighter over the primer, actually, right? Yeah, plastic. So when I tried to put it over black, <laughs> you guys are not going to believe this when I show you. I saved it just to show you guys. Um, no matter what I did, the upper half of the spoon did this. I tried every black I had. I tried every thing I could do. I sanded it. I put it in alcohol in case there was something going on with the spoon. No matter what I did, the upper half... Give this one a focus. Can you see it? It did it on the upper half. No matter what I did. Look at it. And it was driving me nuts. And I wanted to... Oh, this one came out pretty good. Hey, I got to go in here. Whatever this was, I must have really loaded it up. But... Uh, that's the, what's the one good one. And then, even then, it looks just like the white anyway, the one over the white. So uh, it got a little bit of depth to it, but not much. So it sprays no matter what. I just thought this was hilarious. No matter what I sprayed over, this black, different blacks, different black bases, 4K black base, everything. It just, it did that on the top of them. So, uh, yeah, all those are in the trash. I don't know what that was. But, yeah, anyway, the gold is nice, though. Let's put that back. All right, let's see what's behind us here. Orange, clear orange. All right, let's put this back up. All right, here we go. Check this out. Let's show it primarily over the chrome. Well, chrome. This is over my polished alloy. Look at that. You can see me. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry, guys. See me waving in the camera there? Look at that. All right, this one's over uh, a silver base, and um, I used various silvers. So let me spread these out. Different tones of silver or aluminum, you're going to get a different, you know, reaction. Actually, I loaded this up a few times. It came out a little darker, but the silvers all seem to react the same. The real nice effect is this over the polished alloy. Look at that. That is awesome. Almost, pretty orangey, but almost a, a gold chrome. Awesome. Oh, sorry guys, I'm hitting the camera. Let me get this out of the way. It's a little closer to the camera. Sorry about that, guys. All right, we're getting to the end here. Now we're into the Gundam colors. Here's number 14, MS. Mobile suit light blue, I'm guessing, MS. All right, here we go. And this is over primer, left hand, plastic, right hand. But these come out dull, so these must be a semi-gloss. Or a flat color because they both came out identical and in, uh, in reflectiveness you can see it right there really nice color though. this is MS yellow number three or zero three for some reason in the uh, all right this is obviously over plastic this is over primer it's a little different not much but they don't reflect at all so I guess uh, doesn't matter what you spray it over you're gonna get that 
semi-gloss look. Really nice though, very neutral yellow. All right, two left. This is my Mobile Suit Red, number four. All right, over plastic, over primer. And I nicked this one too in the same way I put the other one because I was putting it in a certain spot. But uh, yeah, these are pretty close. You can see they're not uh, reflective. So these are a semi-gloss paint for sure. And the last one to test, Butterfingers there. Number five. UNTS Mobile Suit Gray. This says metallic gray. So let's take a look at this. I remember, yeah, this is plastic. This is primer. I remember no difference over the primer at all, but you can see the beautiful metallic it has. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is for joints or maybe frames. Really nice. It's nice to get a nice metallic. There's not many in the line, but particularly a metallic gray is really nice. But, uh, yep, there you go, guys. That is it. The, uh, Mr. Color Spray line is very good. It's a really good lineup. They spray nice. They dry quick. Um, they're durable. Uh, I, I like them. It depends what you want to do. As far as reflectiveness, you've seen if you put it over a primer, you're going to dull it out quite a bit. You, if you want a primer and you want it to shine, you have to either gloss coat it or put a shiny uh, primer. You can do that too. But uh, these are really impressive colors. Even these, uh, these, these clears are really good. Particularly over the, over the chromes and the uh, the polished alloy, really really good. Um, well, that is it. That is the test. Now I do have something to sh tell you guys. I got a couple of notices here. Oh, here we are. All right. So this is my 2K line, my clear gloss, and the satin is right here. Here's the satin, and black is here. Here's the black. Now these come with. They originally came with these. Now I asked the company, this upsets me, this is very upsetting to me, because I don't like I don't like quality that's beyond my control. You know, I, I approve the paint and the paint works perfect. It's the vessel I don't make, all right, and that's this jar. And it hardened up because I asked them, is it airtight? And they said yes. The slightest bit of air gets into a hardener, it's gone. And uh, they lied to me, It's they all hardened and uh, I'm very upset. What we did was can you see how it didn't harden in this jar? Because this jar is guaranteed not to link. I had to go to another company, had to get rid of the eyedropper. Unfortunately, no matter what we did, you can't get a true seal with this. And they told me you could. So I switched companies, and we went with this jar. It's the same jar, same size, same chemical inside. It's just uh, I even put keep airtight. I asked them to label it properly. Anyway, um, if you had trouble like I did, like you should have, contact Gundam Pros, which will be below. And they're sending out brand new jars. There's the satin. Here's the gloss. The black's over here somewhere. I don't, I don't see it. This is the one that came in. I tested and it worked perfect. So anyway, if you're having trouble, which I think you are, contact them. We're sending them out. We already got all new jars, all new hardeners that are going out. We sent a bunch out already. So uh, we're taking care of it. I don't like the extra steps. It's an aggravation that uh, you guys do not need. As you can tell, these have been sitting here since I got these, and they're fine because the hardener has to be airtight. All right? These could be a little bit not airtight because it's a different kind of a formula, the, the actual clear itself. The hardener hardens the second it hits air. That's why once you mix these two, got to paint them or throw it out. So that's why. It's all based on the hardener. So uh, I might continue using the eyedropper for these. As it hasn't caused the trouble, any trouble, and this is about a month old since I've been testing. So uh, if, if we have trouble, we are going to switch to this, and we're going to have to use your own eyedropper, I guess, uh, when measuring it out. So if you have trouble, which I know you probably did, contact uh, Gundam Pros, and we will send out these new jars of hardener. All right, another thing I want to mention is Hobby Lobby. I went in there the other day to look for something. And these G-frames, which is this guy right here, right here, I'm testing my new panel liners on him. That's why he's built, and he's got a lot of lines I'm going to test my new panel liners on, which are coming very soon. Um, yeah, check it out. Regularly $16.99, $4.24. I mean, they're not the greatest things in the world, but I like these things on my desk because the, uh, let me grab this guy. 
this guy's got a light inside him, and it, it causes trouble. So he came in an LED light. This isn't part of that series, but this guy was $3. So, I mean, I like these things on my desk because it's great. I just showed you he fell because they can take a beating while I'm doing stuff. I don't want to put my uh, models I spent two months on on the desk. Um, that's why you see the little plastic guys because they could take a beating. I like them in the background. And uh, now I really don't mind because $4 is a great price. So head there for them. They had some models. Let me show you. Now, I use a lot of these kits for testing. You guys will always see that. Um, I don't know how much I can zoom out. Let's back up. Anyway, check this out. The B-17 bomber, right? Look at the sale. $40 to $9.99. And I already bought one of these for testing when it was on sale at 40% off, so I was a little upset. So I grabbed this. It was the last one in my store. But check your guys' store. They're having some kind of clearance sale. They're getting rid of these kits and some, a lot of these Gundams. Uh, oddball kits too. I got this uh, uh, from a nephew because it's a quick build kit. It's kind of like Legos but they end up looking like a model. They're pre-colored. I think it's good to get kids started uh, on models at 20 bucks on sale for $4.99. Isn't that awesome? So a uh, little service announcement there. Head to Hobby Lobby. They're having a bit of a clearance sale. Uh, an impressive one too because those are maybe with the camera blue. Those are great prices. All right, guys, there you go. That is the test. I'll be back in a few days. I'm not sure what the next test is going to be. I'm going to put up a video of my motorcycle, which just showed up. Unfortunately, there's a typhoon outside, and uh, we won't be riding. But I might do like a five-minute video. I just want to show my bike. A lot of guys were asking about it. And uh, there's a big story behind it, being repossessed over 23 years ago and me getting it back. Uh, I think is a, co is a cool story to tell. And I got these lacquer paints from Tamiya, but these are... Mixing colors. See it? Mixing yellow, mixing red, and mixing blue. You know what this is? These are pure pigment, not really paints. They're for mixing, but the, there's no pigment in these other than the red. Whereas you use different colors to make a red paint or make a blue paint. You know, you, you, you know your primary colors mixed together. These are pure pigment that's only in, the, in these is a yellow pigment is a red pigment so uh and they're made for mixing and particularly for mixing in like silvers and getting a nice color so um yeah i'm going to be testing these behind the scenes and once i get down how they work i'm going to go ahead and uh put a video up of these and they're really cheap three bucks or four bucks whatever these were so uh if we can get a lot of results out of just these few jars it's going to be really cool maybe we'll spray a car kit with it and uh, anyway, there you go, guys. That is the test. Great paints. I'll put the link below where I got them. I got most from your uh, Gundam Pros. And the ones I didn't have, they didn't have, I got at USA Gundam. A um, couple other places. I'll put the links where I got them in below the video. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And also at Gundam Pros, don't forget to pick up your new bottles if you need it of hardener. And um, i uh, excited to tell you that my panel liners are coming in very soon. We're going to have... Uh, uh, enamel panel liners and we're going to do different colors uh, aluminum and whites and uh, greens and yellows and reds blues really nice for panel lining we're going to uh, do a few testing on them and then uh, really excited uh, Gundam Pros will be carrying those too exclusively uh, anyway guys thank you so much please like the video subscribe if you haven't already and hit the hit the uh, notification bell because I'm I try to do two videos a week and uh, and I'm also going to put these all these up individually pictures so you guys can pause and see which colors you like. And that will be in my uh, community section on my channel. And uh, please join my Patreon. That, of course, will be the link right below where I answer your questions directly via texting. Or if you need a video of something, I will shoot the video personally just for you. That's through my Patreon. And uh, thanks for all my patrons that have supported the channel tremendously. Let's me buy these paints and stuff for testing. And uh, a gigantic help. You guys don't know. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you in the middle of the week. And uh, have a great day.